When taking a walk in a city with the lowest crime rate in the nation, you can do whatever you please without a care in the world. What should I do today? Hey, let's fly a kite. Let's see, wind is good. All right, here's to the first day of the rest of my life. I wonder what I should cook today. Maybe some enchiladas. Nah, they make me gassy. Maybe some chato beans. I still have some pinto beans that I collected from when me and the good seasoning dealer were involved in the chili dog shootout. I'll think of something. Ah, what a nice day. What could possibly go wrong? What the? Dude, that's my kite. What the heck is wrong with you, fool? You're not from around here, aren't you? You best put that pocket knife down before I smoke you like a Texas brisket. What do you want, homie? You want me to make mac and cheese? Hold up, what is this? Hey man, you need to subscribe to my channel before I even lift a finger for you. Thank you. What else you got? What's this? Oh, you want me to make a haunted mac and cheese? All right, but what's in it for me? Oh, nice. Brownie. My favorite. Thanks, man. That's delicious. A little earthy, kind of like you snuck some of my weeds from my lawn in there. Oh, man, I'm feeling a little woozy. Timber! Oh man, what the heck is going on? Where am I? What the? Man, I just wanted to fly a kite. All right, let me get this mac and cheese ready. Holy crap, what's my pan doing here? And my emergency kit? This guy looks like a Texas sidewalk recipe copycat that didn't make it. Oh snap, bad seasoning dealer must have gotten him. I guess let's go ahead and remove our mac and cheese emergency kit. Wait, what's this? Crystal Lake mud juice. No wonder he died. He was not prepared. Let's go find a Texas macaroni plant and pull it from the stem. Give it a shake to get rid of the dirt. Remove your hat to retrieve your cast iron cauldron. And remove your tinfoil hat. Preheat the flames from hell to a medium high heat. Fill your cauldron with water straight from Camp Crystal Lake. Get your macaroni after rinsing and pour inside your cauldron. Place it into the flames of hell until the macaroni is al dente. Once cooked, place to the side for straining. Hey Jason, let me borrow your mask real quick. What the? Is that an avocado and cucumber mask? I guess it's exfoliation night. Gotta get ready for Halloween. Borrow Jason's mask to use as a strainer. Dump the macaroni over the mask and strain well. Place the strained macaroni back into the cauldron. Remove your Crystal Lake mud juice and add approximately 13 drops. Remove your multi-tool and use the mixing spoon attachment. Give it a good mix until well incorporated. After careful analysis of Jason's farts, I determined that he recently ate nachos. Locate his esophagus and insert your cheese extraction tool. Remove as much cheese as you can, approximately 100 cc's. Squirt your extracted nacho cheese over the Crystal Lake Mud Juice macaroni. Mix well to combine the nacho cheese and Jason's stomach acid together. Get your Pocky Haunted Ghost Pepper chips and crumble on top of the macaroni to form a hot crust and cover with foil. Place back on the flames from hell while we play some dominoes. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, domino. Take that. Uh oh. Peace out. I guess Jason is a sore loser. Let's reveal our masterpiece. Oh man, that's nice, cheesy, and gooey. Great ghost pepper chip crust. I hope Jason likes it so I can get out of here. Hey homie, I got some secret seasoning that I know Jason will love. Give it a try. All right, I don't know if I should trust you. Thanks, homie. Let's use some of this secret seasoning. Kind of smells like smoked paprika. Sprinkle some over the top and... Wait, what the heck is going on? Oh, 
Oh man, it changed it into green beans and cauliflower. Jason is not going to be happy with this. <laughs> Got you, Jason. <laughs> no mac and cheese for you. Don't mess with a man's mac and cheese. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and don't fall asleep. Because it's the graveyard shift when I get hungry.